Thank you very much. I'm very honored to be able to be here on behalf of my uh, colleagues at City Council, including City Councilor Shelley Carroll, at this very special place to remember and to plant trees in remembrance of Neda and Sorab, and by doing so in remembrance of all of the people supporting democracy and human rights in Iran who were killed during the pro-democracy demonstrations after the June election this year. And I, I want to speak a little bit about my perspective on these issues because I have a perspective both as David Miller uh, and through the privilege I've had as being mayor of a city, a city that welcomes people from literally every single country in the world, a city in which we have learned to live together regardless of background, with relative prosperity, with peace and with social justice and respect for democracy, and a city which is always supportive uh, of colleagues in other countries who are fighting for human rights and democracy. Um, as David Miller, prior to being elected, I was a lawyer. Uh, I worked in a firm named Aird and Burles, and part of my practice uh, was immigration and refugee law. And I have known members of the Iranian-Canadian community, including some who are here today, uh, for over 20 years. Because those members of the Iranian-Canadian community came to Canada for exactly those values. They fled a regime that did not believe in human rights, that did not believe in true democracy, and that did not believe in respect and tolerance, and came to a city and country which did. And I've had the privilege as mayor of being able to speak up in favor of those values, of human rights, of mutual respect, of tolerance, of inclusion, and of respect for democracy, not just here in Canada, but in countries around the world. For example, a few years ago, the Ukrainian community invited me to speak up at the time of the Orange Revolution, in which the Ukrainian communities were around the world were saying, it is time for a free and fair election in Ukraine. And that resulted in a free and fair election in Ukraine in which a president was elected from the Orange Movement. And I want to thank Solidarity with Iran for your work in the same spirit. Because Iranians around the world and Iranian Canadians and all Canadians have been speaking up with the same message. It is time for Iran to respect democracy, human rights, and free and fair elections. And it's time for Canadians to speak up about those issues, which is why I wanted so much to be here today uh, at this tree planting, so I would have the opportunity uh, to, to speak up on behalf of every single Torontonian. And I can say unequivocally, this is a value of every single Torontonian. The attention of the world was in Iran when these tragic events happened. The attention of the world when Nida was, was killed and her name, I understand, means voice calling or divine message. And she became the voice of Iran through Twitter, through the internet, because people knew. The voice of the entire world saw, and the eyes of the world saw what was happening in Iran. Other events have intervened. The news of the democracy movement in Iran is not front page news every day. So it is even more important today that we speak up. So that people who support democracy and human rights in Iran know, know that they have friends. That they have friends in Toronto, in Canada and around the world. And by remembering uh, Nida and Sorab today, and by planting these trees, which will grow forever, and they will grow. The roots will take hold, and they will grow. Just like the roots of democracy in Iran have taken hold and will grow. It is irreversible. And I think that's what the Green Movement is about, and I know that's what Canadians who are speaking up in solidarity with Iran, Canadians whose family dates back to Iran, and Canadians whose family doesn't. We all see this together in solidarity. And I know we will see these roots deepen in Iran, 
but it's only by continuing to speak up so that the eyes of the world see what is happening that we can succeed and we can truly be there in partnership with the people of Iran. So I came today to say thank you to the committee. I came today to also say keep speaking up. And I came today most of all to say on behalf of Toronto City Council that we're very proud uh, that this park was chosen to host these trees in memory of uh, these two senseless and tragic uh, deaths uh, that these trees will flower and grow and we will all be able to remember that they were planted in honor of democracy and the people in Iran who are fighting so hard and losing their lives for the right to have democracy that we sometimes take for granted here. So to the organizers, thank you. Uh, I know my colleague uh, Shelley Carroll is uh, with us and uh, perhaps I could turn the podium over to Councillor Carroll for her remarks and to present uh, two certificates. Uh,